Howdy y'all, Bearded Carpenter here. Took a little bit of break, sitting in the shade. Got my water jug, but I'm fixing to have to go get it. And get started. I, uh, I've been working on the fire pit for the uh, smokehouse. And I'll show you what I've got going here in just a, a minute or so. But uh, I want to thank all the new subscribers and those that make comments. We appreciate that. We really do. I enjoy reading the comments. So, with that said, it's time to go get started.
I had some fire brick left over from a job, and I'm going to lay them around uh, the top of the fire pit, build a kind of a curb up there so that we can set the, the lid on there. My brother's welder is going to help me make a lid to set down on top of this with a vent in it, and there will be a, a vent pipe that goes down in it that comes out at the bottom of the pit, and that way we'll be able to lift the lid off to actually load uh, wood into the into the fire and you can see I've already had a fire in this this pit it's black and I just had to try it out like a little boy with a new pair of boots I just had to had to get a fire going just to see how well it would draft and how well the smoke would pull up into the smokehouse it actually worked pretty good but I didn't feel like I had enough draft so I went and got another two foot section of this black pipe and I put on top of that little short section that goes into the elbow that uh, the pipe actually turns up into the floor there. And after I did that, this thing really drew well. I had a, a fire in the pit and smoke was coming into the building really well and it was exhausting out. It really was boiling out of that. So I may have to do some adjustment on the draft so I don't get too much smoke, but yet enough to put the flavor in the meat that we were, we're looking for. got the fire brick laid on the, the top edge of the, the fire pit and I went ahead and mixed up some mud and made a little bit of a cove all the way around as you can see there. Now just waiting on my brother to build me a lid for it. And then we should be in business as far as all of this fire pit, uh, chambers and every, the smoke chamber and everything to go through. Even covered part of it up with some dirt stuff I scraped up around here. We got the lid made and on the fire pit, my brother and I put our heads together and came up with this idea. He took a, a piece of pipe, this is two inches in the inside diameter, and he had a piece of metal that was perfect to go around it and he welded it onto the pipe, put a kind of a, a spring-loaded flap or a, a damper adjustment type thing on there where it could be turned and allow the air to go in or shut it off or whatever but I can pick this up and take it completely out and on the bottom he cut a 45 degree angle so that the air will be coming out at the bottom of the fire pit and to feed the flames or the, the smoldering flames I should say and I was going to show you what we did these two handles here were actually the clamps that I used on the, the axle to clamp the axle together. And he had a piece of flat metal, eighth of an inch thick. We put uh, some angle iron around there to keep from sliding around. And it's, it's not all that heavy, it's pretty comfortable to actually pick up and, and take off there. Yeah, I've got me a lighter. May take it just a little bit to get to going. 